It's Friday, July 24th. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel and a quick breaking news aviation update from the trail. We're currently here in Sar back in Sargent's Colorado, heading back towards Lake City and home along the Trans-American Trail. Breaking news, emergency airworthiness AD issued by the FAA for the 737 series of aircraft. The older 737s, the 300 through the NG series, regarding the fifth stage bleed valves. These aircraft, have, this AD applies to aircraft that have been in storage, and the FAA has set out the exact dates and times for the applicability of this AD. But what they're concerned about is the fifth stage engine bleed valve getting stuck in the open position due to corrosion because these aircraft have been stored so long. So remember the the compressor section of a turbine engine has air bled off of it to pressurize the aircraft and to run the uh, de-ice or anti-icing systems on the aircraft. On takeoff the fifth stage bleed valve is normally in the open position. When you go to reduce the power and start your descent, it might even be up at cruise under certain conditions, that fifth stage bleed valve needs to close. If that bleed valve is corroded and stuck and stays in the stuck open position and does not close, when you go to retard the throttle, the the engine can very well start compressor stalling. Remember, compressor stalls, check with Agent Jay-Z. He does a great explanation of what compressor star stalls are. Basically, the jet engine begins literally backfiring out the inlet side of the engine, disrupting the airflow over the compressor section and turbine section, and it creates a loud bang, bang, bang noise. And the cure for compressor stalls is to retard the throttle to idle. If the compressor stall does not stop, the banging doesn't stop or the temperatures go out of limits you got to shut that engine down ironically with this fifth stage bleed valve problem if you were sharp enough this is not part of the procedure i suppose you could go to back to take off power and get the engine running smoothly again but that's not the procedure the procedure is to re reduce the throttle to idle and or shut the engine down if the compressor stalling quits now in the media they're saying Dual engine failure on the 737s. Okay, this first, this has nothing to do with the MAX aircraft. And the likelihood of a dual engine failure because of this is pretty darn remote. There have been reports of about four engines that had to be shut down because of these corroded fifth stage bleed valves. But having it happen simultaneously on both engines would be a very rare occurrence. But nevertheless, it's... It's a big enough maintenance deal now where the, this emergency airworthiness directive has been issued for the older 737. So that's the 300s through the NG's fifth stage compressor bleed valve. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your support on Patreon. We're going to continue heading west on the Trans-American Trail. We've had a great day of riding today. We'll share with you here soon. Light rain in Colorado. See you here.